name is Jean-Pierre Garau, aka JP, and I've been playing the piano for 55 years. When I first was learning how to play piano, surf music was a big thing, and it was huge for me. I loved the Beach Boys, and I loved Dick Dale, and, and that music permeated my soul. This is before the Beatles hit. And uh, so I recall that my very first composition on the piano was in the key of C minor, which was an interesting thing for those of you who are musicians. And uh, it was a surf song that I think that I called Wipeout, irrespective of the fact that there was a wipeout that was on the air back then. These days, I'll get a call, I'll get a text, I'll get a messenger, I'll get an email. Something like that will just appear. I've been doing session work long enough so that, thank goodness, thank God, I still get these calls to come in or to be able to do session work from home. The pros of that is I don't have anything to schlep. And in addition to that, I've got, it's on my calendar, so I can take as much time as I need to be able to work things out and to craft parts. The downside of all of that is I don't have the immediate interaction that I might have in a recording situation at a studio. I am a huge fan of pre-production. So if I'm not the producer, um, when the producer gets together with the artist and they get the songs fleshed out ahead of time, and that would include um, working on the arrangements and putting charts together, that way when the side guys come in and we're ready to track, we just basically get an overview of what's going on. The chart tells us what's going to be happening in terms of the arrangement and the rhythms and the changes and such and we're able to just get to work so it becomes uh, very efficient in that regard but also really creative because we don't have to waste time going ah oh, how's this thing actually going and oh man Miles Davis would have been one of those people um, that would have been a dream artist to work with um, it would have been so intimidating on, on one hand to work with him, but on the other hand, the man's creativity, um, he wasn't placed in any one box. And I just know that good stuff would have happened in our session. So he immediately comes to mind. Once upon a time, I had multiple keyboards and drum machines and sequencers and a giant rack full, pack full of stuff. And that was all well and fine with the exception of the bilateral inguinal hernias that I suffered along the way. So in this particular day and age, I have got um, a Nord Stage 3. Before that I had a Nord Stage 2 and before that I had a Nord Stage 1. And these instruments have suited me very, very well because I love good pianos and good electromechanical pianos, Rhodes and Whirlies and clavinets. The organs are quite good. The synth sections are, are reasonable. And, um, and so I can show up at live gigs and I can show up in sessions and bring one keyboard and usually have it cover everything. So next purchase, I haven't got one right this second. <laughs>